Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for the joy you bring to our hearts. Thank you so much. Um, the truth is this, the work God wants to do is only him that can do it. Yes. And it's only him that wants to do it. You know how, how a child, you taught a child to eat, to feed himself for maybe about two years. And you want to feed the child at a point and the child says, no, me, 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 me. I have to do it by my chef, you know? <laughs> you know, God, God is just like that, but in a very mature way, as in he doesn't want the attention taken from him. He wants to be in control. When he says an, a being wants to be in charge, and that's why he says, give me your heart, because he knows that the center of our being is our heart. In, in, in this exercise we're going through, there are there so many other exercises you know, and Peter will say, add to your knowledge, this and so on. There's, as you are finishing one lesson, God is bringing another one. You know, in, in the book of Timothy, he will say, look, that the man of God will be thoroughly furnished, thoroughly furnished. He will talk about training, instruction, rebukes, reproof, correction, just for one purpose, that we will be so full to be like Jesus, his bigger yeah. tender. You know, so he looks for different ways. Sometimes I'm sure each one of us have had a, a beautiful joke shared between us and the Lord. And suddenly you are laughing and you know that he is seated in the heavens, in the highest of places and he's laughing at us. And he's like, wow, I can't imagine. What are they, what are they thinking? You know, so I give God the praise. We give God the praise and we thank him for his mercy. His word is so powerful that if he hits your heart, what looked impossible, what looked like it would take a thousand years, the God who says a thousand less is like a day unto me, suddenly you yourself will see how foolish you are. He said, my foolishness is wiser than, than your wisdom. All of our wisdom put together, his own foolishness, if there's anything like that, but he said it. His own foolishness is like our own, is wiser than our wisdom. You can imagine that. All how many billions of human beings have passed through this earth. His own foolishness, whatever he terms that, is wiser than our own wisdom. So he's an awesome God. And all he wants for us to do is to keep coming to him and just do those things that seem foolish. Seem foolish that pass it all understanding. And it's when we cross over that somehow we're like, wow, thank God I did this. Thank God I went through. Thank God that in spite of the doubt, in spite of it looking like, ah, why am I doing this? It doesn't look same. It looks different. But then we have a different kingdom. Akaki was saying at the beginning, we are, we are supposed to be, and that's why he repeated it to us. We keep making that mistake. He said, we're a holy nation, a peculiar people, a team of priests. And he's not talking about a special program. He's talking about daily life, normal, normal sin. He's not talking about, you know, situations where suddenly you say, oh, I I, I." Read for 10 hours. I spoke in tongues for 1 million years. And then it changed. No, he's talking about daily living the normal way. Uh, it's, I think he's, um, um, Watchman Nee that wrote it, the normal Christian life. I think it's um, not Watchman Nee. And he talks about right. the normal Christian life, that what we tend to make into programs or special deals are what God expects for us to do every day, every morning, evening, or, or is it morning, um, evening, morning and noon, like David will say. You know, like we're told, the, the day starts in the evening. Yeah. You know, but we live in an earth where things are different. But God is saying, I need you to, I need you to, to bring down heaven on earth. And that's what we're doing. And I'm just encouraging us to say, Lord, have mercy on us and help us to draw in other disciplines yeah. that we're supposed to go through every day so that we will be living in heaven on earth. Yeah. When yeah. men see they'll be drawn to you because those purpose is that we will draw men onto you to be ambassadors while we ourselves are being groomed and grown even to your glory lord we thank you so much for the joy for the joy of the cross thank you for the joy of, you know it's bittersweet but it's, it's 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 refreshing when we go through when we go to get so many and get the strength and go to the cross and stand with jesus and glorify his name to you be all the glory in jesus name Amen. Hallelujah.